Alright, anyways, here's a quick program about UDP. I have uh, four text boxes, one button, and one timer that I'm going to have permanently enabled. Now, UDP is a Ethernet kind of transmission of a packet of data. It's pretty useful. Anyhow, I have uh, these three text boxes on top here. And the first one is the text box of where it's going to, so TV2. Next one is going to be TV port. Third one is going to be the TV send. And then the final one is going to be the received data. So anyways, when I click this button, I'm going to have it send data. But first things first, I'm going to start my imports. Imports are stuff that I want to not have to type out every single time. So instance or system.net and then system.text.encoding. Make life a little easier. Now we got to set up our UDP uh, objects. And so I need two of them, one for sending and one for receiving. So first, uh, define publisher as a socket, oops, sockets.udp client and a port of zero. What's your problem? Oh, I got it. As new UDP client. Yeah, there we are. Now, so the subscriber is the guy who's receiving the data as new sockets dot UDP client and I'm going to have him listen on to 1000, port 2000. Now to send data it's really stinking simple. I'm going to do it in three lines. The first line is publisher which is our sender guy connect and he's going to use the second method here which is a host name and a integer for a port and I'm going to be connecting to or sending to if you will the host name which is going to be the two text box and the port as the TV port text box dot text so that connects me and then I have to define the bytes that I want to send over as an array so the parentheses make it an array and the bytes are going to be ascii.getBytes from the text box oops, not text box port but text box send dot text which is that third text box that sets up the byte array to be sent and then finally publisher dot send the send bytes for a length of send bytes dot length and parentheses here we are that is all there is to UDP sending now for receiving there's a little, little more go to form events and set up for the form load. Now under form load I want to set up the subscriber to do two things. First thing is set up to have oops not that a receive timeout of 100 milliseconds and also subscriber dot client dot blocking equals false. This will cause it not to stop the code and wait for a response. It'll just continue. And so now the final thing is on the timer tick. So I'll double click in the timer. I'll automatically give me the timer here. And this is the receiving portion. Now this is all going to have to be within a try uh, condition here. What the try will do is it'll just so they have nothing underneath the catch. It'll just not do anything if it happens to fail. So, first thing I'm going to do is define an endpoint. EP is what I'm going to call the endpoint. As an IP, oops, as an IP endpoint, equaling a new IP endpoint, and the address is going to be an IP address dot any meaning it comes from anywhere and the port is going to be zero which may also means anywhere 
So, there's our endpoint. This basically is just to say, say receive from anything. Next thing is going to be the receive bytes as an array. Uh, nuts. Dim. Okay. As byte. Equaling subscriber dot receive from anywhere, which is our EP that we referenced earlier. And then finally, text box receive dot text is going to equal ASCII dot get string from the receive bytes. There we are, super simple. Let's try this guy out now. Hit play. First thing I'm going to do is type in my IP address, which I have to know off hand. I think that's it. Maybe it's 80. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to send it 2000 because remember that's what I originally set it up for here in the subscriber port. And I'm going to send it, oh, let's say, hey, exclamation port. Exclamation point. And I hit push button one. Oh, and there it is. It's sent from the sender to the subscriber. Now, if I change to a different port and random and send, well, it sent to 2000, I'm sure but it didn't receive it because it's on a different one. There we are. Have fun with that.